Man, you niggas are fake, bruh. Like, can y'all stop saying FBG Duck name? Out of respect for the situation I got going on, I'm not gonna even say that lame ass rapper's name. Cause I'm gonna use that bitch rapper who just said what I heard him said and put all you whole ass rappers who was alive doing that. Rest in peace to King Vaughn and everybody. But let's call out this fake shit. Man, look, Dirk, salute to you, bruh. But you you don't turn I ain't even mad at Dirk for it. I understand he blackballing his ops and all that, which is grimy as hell, but who am I to tell a nigga to let, allow his ops to eat and get money and all that? But you fuck boy rappers out here picking side, you don't even know a nigga. Talking about fuck 63rd and all that, bro. You niggas is lame, bro. You don't know one person out in 63rd. Why would you go out your way to keep dissing a man that ain't alive no more, can't defend himself, and even when he was alive, he ain't this shit to you, bro? It's cool if you want to rock with Lil Dirt. But do you get gotta get on both knees, bruh, and presume to suck this nigga off, bruh? Educational purpose, bruh. Why do you niggas all the time gotta do the most just to be cool with a motherfucker, bruh? If I gotta diss the next homie, I gotta get out my element and make myself look bigger than what the fuck I am, bruh. I don't wanna be cool with you, gang. I gotta blackball these other niggas here. Don't work with this artist over here because we gotta be, bruh. I don't wanna fuck with you, bruh. Don't disrupt my business and tell me not to like this guy over here. There's a reason why FBG Duck didn't wanna fuck with you rapping ass niggas. Let's just talk real shit, bruh. Duck didn't rock with you niggas simply for the fact a lot of you niggas is fake out here. And it's not the normal fake where a dude is just a shaky ass dude. No, I'm talking about some snake level fake type stuff. You'll do extra shit to make it look like you was in beef with this nigga here. Like bitch ass Sada Baby. A nigga with messed up street records like that should never be speaking on real ones like Duck. Man, I, bro, I wish it was you that billionaire black would have caught that day, bro, instead of um, Rizza Rizza, bro. But I mean, casualties of war, it is what it is, bro. Because Sauce Walker over here dancing all the fucking time. Got TSF looking like a dance group. All this choreography going on. I got a diamonds, diamonds. TSF took a mad loss in 2020 and another one in 2021. If I see another TSF member fucking shaking and baking and dancing out here, like you on a stripper pole, bro. What's going on with you, Sauce Walker? Fast forward back to this, bro. Fuckery don't ever stop, bro. Niggas is saying duck name at an all-time high, bruh. The man been dead not even for a whole year yet, and you niggas can't leave him alone. What, Dirk is gonna sign you the position? Dirk about to sign your whole ass on you hit? You niggas all think y'all official OTF members. I rock with Pooh Shiesty. But damn, Pooh Shiesty, I, I know you you bam right now. Free that man Pooh Shiesty. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you look crazy, Pooh. Doing this extra explicit, I, I guess y'all, y'all boyfriend and girlfriends now, right? Educational purpose. And then like a year later, you niggas gonna be beefing with each other. But I seen this shit too much, bruh. That ain't a real entourage. It, it ain't like it's only one rapper that's doing it, bruh. Like, what do Dirk be doing with you niggas in a secret room, bruh? I think it's fair we start asking that. What does Dirk does with these niggas in a secret room, bruh? Niggas be ready to risk it all when they look in the eyes of Dirk, bruh. Niggas officially Chicago niggas now. Niggas officially from, from the block now. Niggas is OTF members now. Don't know nothing about Chicago. Nobody over there, but they members now. Just to get in good favor with a new feature, a new hit song, or to be seen in the club with this nigga here so they numbers can go up. I really think, bro, on real life, I know we hear it all the time, rappers doing this and that. I really think rappers be on their knees without even the Illuminati shit, bro. I'm convinced, bro. I believe niggas ain't even put niggas in no secret meetings and no secret rooms. Niggas just be thirsty, bro. They be looking at certain rappers and going, oh, yeah, that's, that's him right there, bro. And niggas try everything they can do, my nigga. Like, this shit is crazy, bro. This shit done went yay high already, bro. You niggas had tweaked and bugged the fuck out, bro. Duck has been one of the most solid rappers out here. If anything, you would think every nigga in the industry would be like, yeah. I need to rock out with FBG Duck right quick. And no disrespect to 21 Savage, I got love for you. And y'all know I love 21 Savage, he even has Haitian blood. Most of y'all don't know, 21 Savage grandfather is Haitian. He already said it, Google it, I don't got time to get into that. Now, 21 Savage, you cool, bro. You make Georgia look beautiful, the hip hop look right, and you got intelligence to you. But you the definition of what these rappers do just to be next to the next, man. You not like these other fake rappers, I give you love, my nigga. But goddamn, folks, you couldn't give love to Duck like that the way you did to King Von. You even gave love to King Von's sister and all that. I'm like, FBG Duck, mama is right there, gang. 
She fighting for her fucking son every day, bro. FBG, Mama Duck is right there, nigga. No disrespect. Maybe you did talk to her behind the scenes, but I, I'm not going to tell you how I know that answer. I ain't going to get into that. But my nigga, you couldn't show the world that you, we, we fuck with Duck, bro. The industry rocking with him. I'm, I promise you, bro. This hip hop industry is so fake. When Duck died, you didn't really see nobody reached out to him or nothing like that. No disrespect to King Von. I ain't picking and choosing. Duck been submitted out here way before King Von. Duck was the wave of the drill movement. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I don't care who sold they souls and what OTF is doing over here. FBG Duck was the fucking wave of the Chicago movement. The shit is damn near not dead, but it ain't the same feeling no more because Duck is gone. No disrespect to all the other dead guys. I don't like being fake on this whole, bruh. All you niggas kissing ass and doing all this. I ain't see the industry. When a, when a name like FBG Duck dies and pass away, the whole industry supposed to be shaking right now. It's supposed to be a shake and bake situation. We supposed to get this thing cracking the right way. But you let you niggas tell it. Niggas don't fell back from being real ones, bruh. Niggas turn, it, turn into Instagram models. Every time I see one of you rap ass niggas, niggas got they pit, niggas touching their face, niggas got all type of extra lip gloss and shit. Niggas, next you gonna see these whole ass niggas with eyelashes. I seen a girl the other day and said, bless one, you got some beautiful eyebrows. You get your eyebrows done? I, I'm, I'm astonished and lost for it. First of all, I, I don't care. I don't give a fuck about my eyebrows. I never even noticed if it's pretty, ugly, who looks at eyebrows? My nigga, who the fuck look at eyebrows? But you get around these rap niggas, and I'm not mad at this girl. When you look at all these niggas who blackball duck, it makes sense for a female to look at me and ask, who did your eyebrow? Because you niggas is doing these type of shit. You niggas is out here more estrogen filled because now it's like you can make one of the biggest singles in the world that help neighborhoods that got nothing but the thuggery system going down, but y'all can change and help that. What y'all do? Y'all dick ride the next man. I swear to God, bruh. When when Dirk lost his brother OTFD thing, the whole rap industry stopped for him. No disrespect, I still say bless and rest in peace to D thing. D thing wasn't a rapper. Dirk is still alive. Niggas was crying and doing the doing the most to get Dirk's attention because I know what it is. Y'all didn't do that for Duck, and Duck was actually the nigga that died. You guys didn't even. Raise some honors and go give a medal of honor to his girlfriend, bruh. His girlfriend was out there busting at the fucking ops. You niggas ain't talk about that. We talk about black women being strong and all that. Where are all these black women groups to, to hell her as a champion? She didn't want nobody to take her baby from her, bruh. She was fighting out there, bruh. She was busting back. I'm going to say allegedly so nobody get in trouble. But she fought for her man. So the industry can't even give out a little tweet, rest in peace to Duck, like, God damn. Oh, if, if I say rest in peace to Duck, Dirk is not going to be my friend anymore, bitch ass nigga. Whole ass nigga. If, if, I, if I say rest in peace to Duck, I, I ain't going to get a feature again, tweaking in a cheeks ass nigga. If, if I say this to Duck, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be in the club. I'm not going to get the entrance in the hoes no more. You weak ass nigga. Bro, this, this whole thing is a 360 shit. Y'all talk about 360 deals every day. Talk about a, a dude who's having a 360 soul and spirit, bruh. That's the real shit you niggas in the foundation. Y'all don't even talk about 360. Nigga, I'm on you whole ass niggas, bruh. Fuck a 360 deal. I'm talking about that 360 soul. You niggas spinning circles at the moment, my nigga. Change like the fucking weather, bruh. Duck got, Duck got songs from back in 2011. That shit's on you niggas songs in 2021. You think I don't know what it is? You don't like no strong energy like that. Man, the dirt, Duck and Dirt come from the same trenches, but you see the difference. You see the fucking difference. Duck embodies what Chicago is. No disrespect to Dirk. Not saying he ain't Chicago and all that. That would be wrong of people. When you see Duck, you ain't got to ask. Oh, yeah, that's Chicago right there, bruh. All these Chicago partners of mine I had in the military and job corps, I know how these Chicago niggas rock and act all these years all my life of knowing Chicago niggas. Duck is a Chicago nigga instantly. Meaning that if you kicking the doors for Duck, Duck ain't gonna do all that ass kissing and being cool with the next man. And that made you niggas uncomfortable. You niggas be fear and some of these real so-called street niggas. Y'all be in fear so much. Shout out to Big 30 for remember. That nigga was right, bruh. Big 30, man, CEO Big 30. Let's say his name the right way. CEO Big 30 for Memphis, bruh. 
And don't just say Pooh Shiesty, homie, he done made noise, he's his own homie, and he's right. You niggas be so scary and so scared to beef with me that you rather make me a friend. So the friendship ain't even real, because you just so scared of me that you being cool with me, bro. I don't, I don't want that, gang. Whole ass nigga so scared, he got to be cool with me. Nigga, talk your shit, gang. Man, rest in peace to Duck, man. This industry is too fake for me, bro. The fakest shit I seen was when I got... In this YouTube thing, I got to open my eyes more to sit down and pay attention to these niggas. Because if you ain't a content creator or got a platform, you don't really pay attention that much. That's why I don't blame y'all. I just be sitting back and observing, bruh. I didn't see really no noise. for that. Like when 051 Melly got killed, XXL Magazine even talked about him. And he ain't a rapper. Shout out to 051 Melly and rest in peace to him, man. That's crazy to me, bruh. Like, how does a name like Duck dies in the industry treated him like he was an underground rapper or some shit? It is what it is, man. Look, man, I'm your God bless one, man. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live, man. Y'all do me a favor and hit that fucking like button, man. Quit faking it. Just hit that like button, gang.